It is December 11th, 2025, and we're tracking the chance for heavy rainfall, thunderstorms, and potentially even a flash flooding threat as we're going into Sunday and Monday of this week, particularly over the western half of the state. Hey everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no-hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. We've got a lot to talk about today, and I want to show you everything that's going on in the atmosphere. A quick look at our satellite imagery. You can see this weak frontal boundary that's been moving over the state today. It was over Kauai earlier this morning, causing some showers out there around early morning and midday over Oahu. It's continuing to move down to Maui County. And again, it's going to stall over Maui County and fall apart. Then the moisture associated with it is going to get pulled back up towards the north as we're going into this weekend ahead of this next front. This next front right now it hasn't really developed, but it's starting to get its act together a little bit further off towards our northwest. It's out here is where we're watching for the next development development of a surface low pressure system and a cold front out there. I do want to point out something that's going to be very frustrating with this forecast coming into Sunday and Monday. The Molokai radar is currently down and is expected to be down through a majority of December, meaning we won't have crucial radar coverage over Oahu and parts of Maui County over Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. We're tracking kind of an active weather pattern. So to kind of offset this, if you're going to be following along with the rainfall fall pattern out there. I urge you to actually download the Mping weather app. It's in the app store and you can actually send in uh, alerts directly to the National Weather Service so they're not completely flying blind out there. I'll definitely be doing the same. So please help out the NWS. They're going to be doing a really good job, especially without that radar coverage. They will definitely need the help. So thank you again. That really, that radar coverage covers uh, Molokai, Lanai, parts of Oahu, and then also parts of Maui. So we've got to watch that pretty closely. Here's what we're tracking. We are going to be seeing heavy rainfall, that flash flooding threat, especially Sunday into Monday. Right now, Monday seems to be the heaviest rainfall. Uh, again, Sunday is the big day to watch, especially with the Honolulu Marathon going on. A lot of people coming in to race. It's going to be wet out there, uh, and uh, we could be seeing some active weather, potentially even that flash flooding threat during the race. So we've got to watch this really closely and fine-tune the details over the next couple of days. We also have a high surf advisory out there on North and west facing shores. Let's break down the big picture of the overall weather pattern out there. There's a lot to talk about today, so let's just show you what's going on. Again, today we had that low pressure system off to the north that caused that weak cold front that's hanging out over us right now. That's going to continue moving away from us. Then we're watching the development of another low pressure system that's going to start developing out there off towards our northwest. Remember, we were taking a look at the baby low pressure system. It's very infant stages out there. This is going to continue moving off towards the east and northeast over the next couple of days. It's going to send a prefrontal band uh, ahead of the actual front as we're going into Saturday night into Sunday, bringing showers out there. And then potentially, like I said, the best chance for heavy rainfall, the heaviest rainfall, looks to be on Monday. We're watching the development of another low pressure system that's going to hang out around us going into Monday, which will intensify that cold front, that band that we're going to be watching out over the western half of the state. It's going to be an active week of weather. We're even watching the potential for another low pressure system to develop into the middle and end of next week. Moving up a little bit higher in the atmosphere, the mid-level flow, I'm going to point out a couple of things that are going on because we're going to be watching this trough that's digging down off towards the northwest. This is actually going to be hanging out towards the northwest of us as we're going into Saturday and Sunday. But the thing is, I mentioned it's going to be kind of an active weather pattern. It's going to get held there because of this slightly higher pressure over the Aleutian Islands. As we're going forward in time, you're going to notice that's going to kind of hold this trough just to off to the northwest of us, allowing the intensification of the rainfall as we're going into Monday and Tuesday. Just downstream of this trough right here, we're going to be seeing uh, upper level divergence. So we are going to be seeing upward motion in the atmosphere, helping to intensify the systems out there and intensify the rainfall and then potentially another active weather pattern as we're going into the back half of next week. This is also hap happening in the upper level flow. You can see out there, this is going to be seeing a kind of a low pressure system, a trough that's going to be hanging out just to the northwest of us. It's going to dip down closer to the northwest of Kauai. Same thing happening at the upper level flow. We've got this high pressure system around the Aleutian Islands. Not t too high of pressure, but it's higher than what we're going to be seeing off to the northwest of us. Kind of holding this low pressure system at the upper levels in place throughout 
Monday and Tuesday, allowing for the intensification of the rainfall on Monday. So let's break this down. We've got that weak front that's out there right now. This is a wide view. I'm going to run through this quickly before we get into our local view. You can see the front that's over Maui County right now going to fall apart. Then we're going to start seeing southerly winds as we're going into Saturday, pulling that moisture back up towards the north. Then we see this prefrontal band moving in Saturday into Sunday. The actual front will be moving in throughout Sunday as well. And it's kind of going to get stuck there. It's going to get orphaned as we're going into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, allowing for a lot of rainfall. There's that low pressure system that's going to be moving in that's going to allow for further intensification of the system. Continuing rainfall all the way throughout Tuesday, sticking around throughout Wednesday, and potentially even to the end of next week. So an active weather pattern out there. Let's take a look at the local view. This is the European weather model specifically. You can see the front out there that we've been watching over on Maui. Really, it's going to be falling apart over the next couple of days, allowing some pop-up showers, sea breeze showers over Maui tomorrow afternoon. We've got somewhat weak northerly winds behind the cold front right now. Moisture gets pulled up from the south because of these screaming south winds. We're going to be seeing pretty pretty breezy Kona winds between 10 to 15 miles per hour. We're going into Saturday. Going into Saturday afternoon, you're seeing a few pop-up showers. Late Saturday night, you're seeing that prefrontal band moving over Kauai and Oahu. Then the actual front's going to be moving in Sunday into Monday and still hanging around as we're going into Sunday evening. We could even be seeing some stronger thunderstorms just off to the south of us. So notice how long this sticks around. This is throughout Saturday, Sunday, into Monday. And again, the further intensification of this system is expected to be on Monday as that low pressure system is going to be hanging around. As we're going into Tuesday, the system gets pulled up a little bit further towards the northwest, could move back down to the southeast. So again, we're getting a little bit far out in the weather models, but I just want to show that this is going to be sticking around for a while. So a heavy rainfall event Sunday into Monday, we might be extending the forecast into Tuesday and Wednesday, depending on how this plays out over the next couple of days. The GFS plays out pretty similarly. Similarly, the American model, you see the moisture over uh, Maui County late Thursday evening into Friday morning falls apart. The moisture gets pulled back up to the northwest. We see a prefrontal band moving in early Saturday morning and then heavy showers potentially Saturday into Sunday, then the further intensification into Monday. So again, like I've been talking about, the best chance for heavy rainfall will be on Monday. We could be seeing some scattered pockets out there Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon and then further intensification early Monday morning. And then it sticks around throughout Tuesday and Wednesday. Notice the American model is a little bit different here than the European model. This is a little bit further off towards the northwest as we're going into Wednesday. Not as much rainfall in the American model for Oahu and Maui County as we're going into the middle and end of next week compared to the European weather model. So there's still a lot of uncertainty out there that we're going to have to decipher over the next couple of days. We're going to get better weather data going forward, but that's just what I wanted to show you at least in terms of the weather model breakdown. Taking a look at the European weather model, this is the rainfall accumulation. So let's just play this out. We are going to continue to see some rainfall over Maui County, pop-up showers, not a ton of rainfall out there for your Friday. A few sprinkles over on Hawaii Island are possible due to the lighter winds. And then as we're getting into Saturday and Sunday, that's when you can see that this is really focused over the western half of the state, over Oahu and Kauai. So I'm just going to play this out as we're going forward throughout Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You can really see the rain rainfall, uh, the inches stacking up over in Kekaha, nearly three inches by 3 a.m. on Wednesday, 2.2 inches in Waipahu, two inches in town. So hopefully we'll be seeing some beneficial rainfall out there. We definitely need it with the ongoing drought still out there. Kekaha around 3.3 by the time we get to Thursday afternoon. Again, please take the rainfall accumulation with a, uh, a grain of salt. That's not a, ex going to be exact. Just kind of showing you the, the trends that the western half of the state has the best chance for rainfall. Right now, Kauai has the best chance for rainfall compared to the rest of the state. If you've been watching me for a while, you may have uh, heard me talk about how we've we've uh, partnered with the Hawaii Climate Data Portal out there. This is a look from the data or the rainfall totals from yesterday, December 10th, 2025. Uh, this is just from zero to one inches. You can see the legend at the top of the screen out there. Not a ton of rainfall for Hawaii Island, Maui County, and Oahu, but you'll notice we did see some rainfall out there and along the Nepali coast and just west of Hanalei out there. So uh, a good dousing over on Kauai yesterday from one of the showers. 
Again, we do have a, a network of mesonet sites out there, weather observing stations that the Hawaii Mesonet and the Hawaii Climate Data Portal, Portal are working together to provide us these great data, data visualizations. So we're going to continue to show you these going forward. It'll be really interesting to actually look at that data tomorrow uh, compared to what we're seeing with the rainfall that fell on Kauai also on um, Oahu and Maui County today. Pretty interesting. You can see our winds outside right now. We've got southwesterly winds ahead of the front, weak northerly winds behind the front between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Actually, a little bit breezier over in Kahului, around 16 miles per hour. And let's talk about our first alert wind cast going forward into this evening. You're still seeing weak northerly winds, hopefully ushering in a little bit drier air out there. So as you're waking up tomorrow over Kauai, Oahu, might be a little bit chilly out there in the morning. And then we're going to start to see the winds still be pr pretty light on Friday and then southerly as we're going into Saturday ahead of that next front that we're watching. This is Saturday afternoon between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Kona winds, it's pretty atypical, pulling up moisture and actually pulling up a lot of instability up from the south of us that's actually going to uh, play in to that heavy rainfall event. Our first alert fog forecast. Again, most of the fog because of the front is going to be confined to Hawaii Island and with the southwesterly winds out there really impacting the Hilo areas, Puna, Volcano, Pahoa, and then alongside the Hamakua coast. And you can see that is going to continue to be the case throughout Friday. It'll seep back up to the north with the southerly winds that we're expecting on Saturday. So still impacting the eastern half of Hawaii Island. We also have a high surf advisory out there for north and west facing shores until 6 p.m. today. Taking a look at the surf and shoreline forecast for your Friday morning. North facing shores on the decline around 8 to 12 feet. West facing shores around 4 to 6 Again, the advisory is expected to end today at 6 p.m., uh, so we'll be seeing below advisory level surf tomorrow morning. South facing shore is 1 to 3. And let's take a look at the swell forecast. The energy moves off, and as we continue to see that next front that's going to be moving in, we'll see more energy moving in from the northwest out there. Hey, let's break down our island-by-island island forecast for your Friday. A pretty calm day out there over on most of the island chain tomorrow. Over on Kauai, we've got mostly sunny conditions. Northwesterlies between 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming southeasterly in the evening. On Oahu, southeasterly in the evening again, mostly sunny out there. 81 tomorrow in town, waking up around 68 in the morning. Maui County, scattered showers, partly sunny. A few showers still hanging around Maui County. These are pop-up sea breeze showers due to the lighter winds. And uh, seeing temperatures in Kahului around 83, 83 in Kihei as well. 84 in Kailua Kona, sunny out there, variable winds between 5 to 10 miles per hour. 82 in Hilo, pretty sunny out there, still seeing a little bit of light fog over the eastern parts of Hawaii Island with the southwesterly winds and the north portions of the Big Island. Mostly sunny, spotty evening showers, calm winds becoming west in the evening. So again, there's a lot that we've got to watch over the next couple of days. We're going to continue to fine-tune the details. Reminder that the Molokai radar is down. So it's a little frustrating as a meteorologist that we're not going to have access to see what's going on uh, closer to the surface. Of course, we can still look at the Kauai radar and the radars over on Hawaii Island, but we're really going to be seeing the upper levels of those storms. We're not going to be seeing what's going on closer to the surface. Thank you again for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. And also, uh, let me know where you're watching from. Again, I am updating our island-by-island island forecasts so you can see more cities and towns on the map. I really hope that we can get those launched sometime soon. So please let me know where you're watching from. Let me know what you want me to work on. I am listening to every single comment. I am reading every single comment that's being sent in. And I really appreciate all of the support that we've received so far. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart. And also, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.